so, so after these people have all left, right, and they've done their damage, now you have a community and a, that you're part of in shambles because you got people on one side fighting about people on the other side after the person's left, right? They've got their points, they're gone, they've done their damage, they've, you know, they've jumped online and said, hey, yeah, I changed everything. But the problem is what, they, what they've done is actually damaged something. So you've actually got some people who actually, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. So um, just to get you up, hopefully. All right, so now you've got a um, community in shambles and you're going, well, what happened? I thought we just allowed somebody to come into accepting and, you know, and now we've like, we've got people on this side fighting people on this side. And next thing you know, there's no group anymore. There's no community anymore. So I'm watching this for the last year or so and watching how every single area has, you know, in, in pop culture really um, is getting damaged by all this. Um, gaming, uh, you know, Pokemon, right? Um, Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Um, or Dragon Ball Z, you've got comic books, um, you've got movies. Um, recently, you've had this huge, huge, huge flop of a movie where, you know, uh, what was it called? Charlie's Angels, right? So the day before the movie comes out, the writer, director, creator, the writer, director, actor, goes on, does an um, interview, right, I think with Sydney, um, Australian Herald, and before the movie comes out, says that men, it, it'll fail because men don't go to watch it, but the movie wasn't made for men. How can you blame something on someone when you wrote a movie in a way and made it in a way that wasn't for males then okay so then you were writing for females of course then how come the females didn't go because what you did was you wrote something for someone that didn't actually you wrote something for no one <laughs> that's what it ended up that's what i mean about about this whole damaging thing about you know you're going i'm writing for this person but if that person doesn't come then that's why it failed but the problem is you should be writing for everybody right if that's if that's what you want if you want to make money if if that's what the scope is if you're doing action comedy then you're writing action comedy for everybody if you're going for r18 movie then you're writing a sexualized whatever you know boom no holds barred nudity swearing everything but if you're going for a PG, R13, then it's got to have fun, comedy, laughing. Um, and if you're aiming for a specific target, then you got to aim it for a specific target. That's basically movie writing 101. Film school guy, right? Spent three years. So, you know, then I, could, then I basically when I read the comment that you've been posted about it, the statement you made. I knew straight away that the movie would wasn't meant for me, right? The fact that she'd come out the day before and blamed someone meant that you couldn't, you know, basically you couldn't, it wasn't meant for the people that she was trying to aim for because she, she had hit an agenda to aim it for something else. And today, if you try and do something like that, you can't fail at it because people don't have the money to go to every single movie that comes out. And this is what people don't understand in Hollywood when they're making movies. It's like, mum and dad don't have money to go to every single movie. So every movie that you're going to make, make it's got to be a 10-10. Or at least a 7 out of 10. It's got a good writing, good action, good actors, acting, I mean. Um, big name people or good actors it doesn't really have to be big name people but the story has to be amazing and if you're doing a genre piece do a genre piece if you're doing action piece have lots of action sci-fi lots of sci-fi stuff you know if you're doing a comedy lots of laughter because otherwise who, what are you writing for what are you creating for 
And um, I guess I've got onto the writing thing. Okay, so let's talk about writing. First one is art. Okay, so when you're writing for somebody or someone, you have an idea in your head and you want to get the age group that you're specifically going for. And that age group has a certain limit that the world, society, and our Western culture is placed on it, depending which side of the world you live in. And I'm so glad we live in the West, right? Because it's such so much freedom to do what you want to do. Um, so we have a age restriction on everything, right? When it comes out to us, that's because we want to protect our minors, we want to protect our teenagers, we want to make sure that they're not watching stuff that they shouldn't be watching. And our children are not exposed to stuff at a young age that they shouldn't be exposed to. And that's very important in a democracy, in a free society, right? So when you're writing for someone, you've got to make sure if the age group limit, the boundaries of that age group is there first. Then within that boundary, you create something. You come up with an idea, you know, uh, I guess there was a diary of a wimpy kid, my, you know, my niece and nephew's love, right? So you're going for that age group, right? The teen, young preteen teen, I think it was. Um, and then if you're making a movie like it, you're going for an older group, right? R13, you got to keep the blood levels down, uh, violence down. You know, if you're in M15, okay, you can have swearing, your sex scenes and so on, but it's limited to what you can do in there. So all those things, when you're writing, you got to make sure that you're working within the boundary. And if you're doing a genre movie, right, or a genre a comic book, a genre story, you got to know what the genre is. So if it's an action comedy, you got to have lots of laughs. Shanghai Nights, right? Um, stuff like that. So you got to know the audience. Action means male right and a lot of females watch it but around about 60 to 40 ratio to where men watch more than males i should say not men males because teenagers go to you know and so on whatever uh and also there's a lot like something like star wars the original three there's a lot of actions even a child can watch it because it's within that whole uh, G pg g rating sort of universe um and because of, of that and so yeah so and then if you're writing sci-fi you got to make sure there's a lot of science science, science, uh, science reality in there or you're making things up but it's got to work you can't just have silly things happening in it because otherwise people won't it won't be sci-fi right and even if you if you even if you're trying to portray what society is doing in it and star trek does a lot of that in it every, most of the stories in star trek is based on social things that are happening and that's why it's lived so long i've just you know i just pulled out my uh, frame my 25 year poster but behind it is a 50 year poster All right so uh, what we got to understand is that and a lot of people fail right now and the movies are failing but you can't say you're winning when you're failing if you have a 40 million dollar movie and if it's only making 12 million you're not winning uh and you know so you got to write within the genres and you got to know what the genres you're writing about and there are many books out on how to write specific genres and because at the end of the day you want to write a good story and get it out there and make sure that lots more lots of people read it so if you're just putting out books for yourself without aiming it for the audience then you might as well just leave the book on the shelf and not worry about it because it's just your thing I had a guy last year come up to me and go, well, I don't want to put it out there. Like this is an adult said to me, right? I don't want to put my stories out there because I don't want anybody else having a say in it. Well, then you're not writing for anybody else. You're just writing for yourself. So um, when you're creating something, it's about communicating. And I, as my teacher always used to say, our teacher used to say, right? Art is communication. What are you trying to communicate? So it's such, so it's, Anything that's involved in art, like movies, music, what are you trying to communicate? Is your music trying to lift people up, get them on the dance floor, teach them something? Uh, is it just instrumental, change the mood, make them happy, make them sad, you know, whatever. And at the end of the day, it's about communicating. So make sure what you, whatever you're writing, 
you're communicating in a way that it gets to your audience, right? To your readers. Uh, if you have a specific art style you want to bring in, and if you don't have the money, you know, make sure you find someone who's willing to work with you to make that art style. Otherwise, just create yourself. Man. Uh, at the end of the day, because then you have total control over what you're putting out if you can't find someone to do it, if you don't have the money to do it. So, thank you for listening. Um, yeah. Kaki down, malfunction out.